Hi ladies, I'm so glad you could join me today. You know what I love about bands? They add so much of a resistance to what we do. Now I've got a round band today. This is just bought from Kmart. Inside, you'll see these material ones have got non-stick stuff, so it helps them to stay on your legs a bit better or your arms, whatever you've got. Um, but you can get easier bands than this, the more sort of, um, elasticized ones, but these are material ones, so actually work you quite hard. Now, you can do today's workout without a band or with a band, so if you don't have a band, that's fine. You will still get a really good workout from this. We're gonna do half a minute on, half a minute off. I'm just gonna pop my feet through the band. Now, you can opt to have the band above your knees, not over your knees or below your knees. Obviously, if we're doing walking and stuff, it's gonna be a lot harder below your knees, but you can choose as to how you do it. Some of this we will want above our knees. But I'm gonna start mine, first of all, we're gonna go below the knees, and I'm gonna start with our first 30 seconds. Now, what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take big steps against the resistance of the band. So I don't want you to take those steps too small, okay? So really, if you wanna just work it a bit harder, stay a bit lower, but I want you to really step out against the resistance of the band. Well, you're going to feel your glutes doing quite a bit of work and your legs as well. So really big steps out. That's it. Big, big, big steps. Five seconds to go. Nice big steps. That's it. Really big ones. Okay, this time we're going to walk backwards. So just make sure the back behind you is all clear, particularly if you're working with a partner. And we're going to take big, big steps back. Turn around the other way. Nice big steps. Really big, that's it. Really big steps. Ah, oh, I can feel my glutes working, I don't know about you. If you wanna make it a bit harder, take that band down a bit lower. Are you really working? If you wanna make it a bit easier for this one, take your bands above your knees. If you don't have bands, that's fine. Just stay low if you can with this. Or you can actually work this quite intensely. Ah, oh, I can certainly feel those glutes. Okay, this time, we're just gonna take this into two side steps. I'm gonna stay a bit lower, and I'm just gonna take two steps to the side, two steps to the side. You can take four steps, or you can take single steps. I don't mind, whatever works for. If you're only in a small space at home, you may not wanna do single steps, but otherwise, staying a bit lower and doing two steps. If you see me from the side, this is what I'm trying to do. We're working into the gluteus medius now, which is the part that comes around into the hip. The gluteus is made from three parts. And this is the side one. Quite a few women, we're quite weak there. Whoops, shoelace undone, pop it back on. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is a little step out and in. So, we just now, if you had a pair of hand weights, you could actually make this a bit harder, or you can just take it out and in a little jump. If you don't want to do that little jump, you can even take those arms out into a little star jump, you can just take these toes out. Oh, I can feel my side glutes working really, really hard. Awesome. So this main one today, even though it's lower leg, is primarily, whoa, primarily glutes. Okay, we're gonna stay down low. So when you stay down low, it's like you're about to sit on the loo, and we're just gonna take a leg out, tap it back in. Now what you find here is that both legs are working hard, but primarily this leg that's on the floor is doing a lot of work. It's like it's got to support you while this other leg is tapping to the back. So just a tap in, and again, you are gonna work this whether you have a band or not. I know you will, particularly if you stay low and don't come up in between, you just stay low the whole time. We're gonna change to the other leg. Woo! Can feel that working. How are you going at home? Oh yeah. Can feel that glute working? These glutes need to work. A lot of the time, you know, if we've had an injury of our back or our hip, our glutes switch off and then they become lazy glutes. They don't do what we want them to do. So we want them to work. So staying low here, tapping back, you can get those arms pumping if you want to get a bit of a cardio workout as well. And my band's starting to slide up a bit. I might actually put it above my knees for this one. It's more comfortable. Just put the band 
wherever you feel it's comfortable. You're still gonna get a great workout. Okay, so this time, we're just gonna hold on to a wall. We're gonna lift back. Now the main thing I want you to think about with this is pop a hand on your glute. Make sure you feel the squeeze first before you lift. So feel that squeeze first because we can have a wonderful strong glute. But if we don't activate in the right sequence in that the glute squeezes first, then the kind of hamstrings and lower back after that, then we often get back pain. So got to make sure that glute is squeezed first. So like you're having I've got a big fart about to erupt and you want to really squeeze that glute tight. We're going to go to the other leg. Staying a bit lower. Now you don't have to stay low if you don't want. Put that hand there, feel the squeeze before you lift. So squeeze, lift, back. Squeeze, lift, back. Uh, you don't have to stay low on this other leg if you don't want. But by staying lower, you're working that leg quite hard. Well done. Oh yeah, can feel that all happening. Woohoo! Good job. Oh, could you feel all that? I certainly can. Now, this time, we're gonna take a knee up and lift it back. So we're not even needing to touch the floor with this one, so knee up, lift back, knee up, lift back. You'll certainly feel this glute working, eh? Now, if you did want to work that bit harder, stay a bit lower, okay? Every time again, if you want to feel that glute squeezing, you need to make a good squeeze of that. We want that glute to learn to work. And many people um, have lazy glutes. They don't do the work that they're meant to do or in the right sequence. Good job. We're gonna take it to the other side. Whew. Warm day here today, so can feel a bit of a sweat happening. <laughs> Good, now you can stay low if you want. Squeeze back, bring that knee up. Now if you did want to feel that glute, if you're not sure whether you are squeezing properly, feel it, put your hand on there, feel the squeeze first before you lift back. So knee up, lift back, knee up, lift back. Good job, great. Keep it going, woo, yes. Feels good, lovely. This time we're gonna kind of do a kind of, uh, we're gonna squat, bring in, squat, bring in. So a little, just kind of a lunge, a, li a li li little lunge. Again, trying to st stay nice and low to the floor. You may find it better that you've got more resistance down below your knee. So wherever you feel comfortable, I don't mind. Some of you will prefer that band above your knee some below your knee. So good. That's it. Good. Almost there. Woohoo. It's almost like that tap, 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 tap in again. But we're doing kind of a lunge and pressing. Lunge. So both knees will be bending. Try and keep that chest up if you can. Bring it in. Lunge. Bring it in. Good. Ooh yeah. How are you going at home? I just want to come up and see. How are you going at home? Can you feel those glutes working and those legs working? I certainly can feel mine. It's like, whoa, yeah. Okay, we've got seven seconds to go. Looking good at home. Keep it going. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do that walk forward and back, but this time we're gonna combine it. So we'll walk forward one way, walk back the other way. We're gonna repeat everything that we've just done. So, holding up nice and tall. I've just got my band above my knees right now and I'm walking right back. You can have it more below if you want, okay? That will work me a lot harder. A totally your choice. That's it, so nice big steps forward. I don't want you to take fast ones. I want you to really work against the resistance of that band. That's why we're here. Now, if you don't have that band, you can stay low, walk it low. You'll still get a butt workout. Good job. Okay, our next one will be the side steps. We'll do two each side. Your choice whether you do single ones. That's it. Two, one, and two. Now, if you want to move forward, you can. Sometimes I get a bit bored and I've got a good song on 
then I'll come forward. How are you going at home? I can see you looking good. Well, you can't. But I hope you've got some good music grooving along while you're working these glutes out, as this is quite intense. Woo-wee, five more seconds. That's it, looking good. Oh. Okay, now if you wanna come back to the star jumps, you can. If you don't wanna do the star jumps, you can just tap out a foot. You'll feel these side glutes working, so right on the side. So either star jumps, just ma making sure your knees Track the same way as your toes. You don't want your knees in here and toes out that way. You don't want that. You want your knees to face the same way as your toes. And don't forget, you can just tap it out. Looking good. Wooey, oh yeah. Okay, these glutes are working hard. Good. Whoa. Oh yeah, okay. We're just gonna stay low for our next one. If you don't like it and you're tired, you can stand up straight. Just gonna tap her foot out, bring it in. But if you can, staying low. So this is just a straight leg at the back. We're just tapping it out. That's it, woo. And I can certainly, my main uh, glute that I can feel is that one at the front. I can really feel that glute doing a lot of work. We've got 10 seconds. Because we've got that leg bent a bit, means we're almost doing a one-legged squat. So actually doing a lot of work into that glute in the front leg. Oh, oh yes. Gonna whiz it around the other way. Come down low if you can. If you do need to hold onto the wall, hold onto the wall. Gonna take a leg out. That's it, and just tap it in. Good. Want you about to feel that glute working. You'll probably feel this one on the floor first, but you're actually working both pretty hard. Well done. Good. Oh yeah. Okay, got eight seconds to go. Well done. We're almost there. Looking good. Whoa, yes. Oh. Okay, so for our next one, we're actually going to um, lift back. So this is the one where I want you to really feel this glute squeezing. Hold on to the wall if you need to. I want you to squeeze first, so squeeze then lift, so only lift when you feel that squeeze in this glute that you're lifting up, okay? Because for those people with lazy glutes, your back and hamstrings will be doing the work that your glute is meant to do. So you wanna squeeze it first, then lift. Squeeze it first, then lift. Well done. Good, squeeze, lift, squeeze and lift. Good job. Whew, okay, Let's try the other one. Again, hand on that bum cheek, right here on this tush, and you want to feel that squeeze first before you lift. Now, I'll just put this down, it's starting to go over my knee a bit, so I just want to feel that, then lift. If you want to make it a tad easier for yourself with this one, pop it above your knees. Well done, Whew. Yep, if you want to make it harder again, bend this other leg, so this leg then has to support you doing a lot more work when you take that slight bend down. Good. Hooey. Great. So, our next one we're gonna be doing, so we're gonna stay here and we're gonna squat and lunge. Come back in and down. So both legs bend with this one. Unlike the other one where we're tapping back, we're actually gonna have both legs bend. Now, your knee should be aiming the same way. I don't want kind of a knee in, knee in. Gotta aim the same way as your feet. So, re so really make sure as you go into this lunge, you can hold onto the wall, but that you're staying with your feet and knees facing the same way. Now, some people have really unstable knees and they like to do all sorts of weird things where they kind of collapse in. We don't want that to happen. Let's go down. Take it back and back out. Good, that's it. Good. Bend both legs, back in. Both legs, back in. Beautiful. Doing a bit of a lunge with this. If your lunge, if you don't like the lunge, just stick with the back, uh, the back leg or you can take back to the tap out. Your choice. But otherwise, 
you can maybe take your band up a bit higher so you're not getting the same resistance from the band. Good job. And next one we'll do, I'm gonna take this above my knees, is we're gonna take that knee up and reach it back. Knee up and reach. Good. Woo! How are you going at home? How are you going? Can you feel those glutes working? You'll feel your leg as well, but we're doing a lot of glute work here. Woo-wee. Oh yeah. Well done. Good. Oh. oh, we're almost coming to the section where we'll head down to the floor. If you don't like the floor, ladies, you can always pop onto your bed or a nice sturdy, kind of a firmer couch. You don't want anything too soft with this. You want to still support yourself. So I'm taking the other knee up, reach it back. Knee up, reach. Good. That's it. You can do a slight lean forward if you want to with this one. I just want you to feel that glute working. Good. Well done. Woo. Yes. Yeah. Good, we've got another five seconds to go. Well done. Have a drink break and I'm gonna see you down on the floor. Okay, we're down on the floor. I'm gonna take this bo bo bottom leg under and I'm just gonna lift this top leg. I've just got my foot flexed and I'm just taking that up. This will be an outer thigh one, but also an outer glute one, again into these side glutes. Just gonna lift that leg up. Well done. Woo wee. That's a great way to, to fit, finish off our band workout. If you're in a warm room like I am, you will have gotten up a sweat and my heart rate's actually flicking along quite nicely. Now, I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna come down. So you may want a pillow under you. I'm gonna bring these knees up. I'm leaving my heels together and I'm just bringing the side up. Again, if this is too hard for you, this is a clam, you can actually take that band off or take the band. I think if you had the band way down here, yeah. So if you had the band down around your ankles, it's not gonna be so hard. If you've got it above your knees, it's gonna be a lot harder. So your choice, whether you have the band down around your ankles, so you take away the resistance of the band, or you have the band up around the top of your knee. Well done. Woo. Oh yeah. Okay, from here, we're gonna go onto our back. And all we're gonna do from here, feet close to the butt, we're gonna lift up high, squeezing these glutes and take out the knees out and in. Out and in. Every time we come in, we really squeeze these glutes. Again, we're just working so many parts of our body here, working these glutes. If your back doesn't like this, you can pop some pillows under your back, under your lower part of your back, or just pop some hands under your back to give it more support. Okay, so we're just taking our knees out and in. If you saw this from the front, this is all I'm doing. I'm keeping my bum up in the air, and I'm just taking those legs out and in. Okay, now we're actually gonna go on to the other side, and we're gonna take that leg Nice and long, first of all. You can have a pillow under your head if you want. That's perfectly fine. Whoa, we've done a very good lower body workout. These bands I know can be bought online through um, several, um, several sites, but I do just find that the Kmart one's just as good. And particularly if you're the only person using them and you're not requiring them to be used by hundreds of other people, they last a di distance, so they're actually good bands. So $15 will get you three different bands. Lovely, so we're gonna be doing our clams now, so bring up those legs, uh, making sure you've got a pillow if you need it under your head, leaving those heels together and taking it up. Woo-wee, that's it. Keeping those heels together and lifting up one knee. Oh, how are you going? How are you going at home? <laughs> yep, oh, you can certainly feel it right through here, right where it attaches into your hip. Again, if you don't like that band up here, whip it down to your ankles and do it without the resistance of the band is perfectly fine. Lovely, so we're gonna go back onto our back again, 
I'm going to take up, kind of keep that band above your knees. I'm going to take up that bum and take it out and in. Really squeezing those bum cheeks. And again, if you need support, you can pop your hands under your back or you can pop some pillows there just to give yourself some support. And we're almost finished. I'm going to do a couple more things and then we're done. Well done. Good. Again, if you don't want that band there, pop it down around your ankles and you're not going to feel the same resistance. Not all of us are at the same point. Okay, so I'm going to get you to come onto your front, onto your front, down onto your forearms. We're going to take a leg straight and we're simply going to lift up that butt. So this is doing some work into our lower back as well. Try and pull your be belly button in the whole time you're here, so don't let everything sag out. And we're just trying to keep our head in alignment with our body, so not right up here, not right under here. So just in line with our body and lifting up that foot. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Some of you may not like this if you don't have good knees. And I'll show you what you can do if you don't have good knees is that you can come all the way to the floor and do it from the floor. You only want a small lift then, though. No, you don't want to have a big lift. And we're going to do our other side. You may choose to just not do this one at all if you're not good on your knees, or you may want to put a pillow or a foam mat on your knees. How are you going? Well done, ladies. We're coming up to the final one. We're almost there, 10 seconds to go. Oh yeah, keep that belly button in. Keep everything on. That's it. Almost there, two and one. Oh my goodness. Oh, well done on your effort today. And remembering this is your workout. So always adapt things to what you feel that you can do. You're not me, I'm not you. So I want you to work out to what you feel that you can. So well done on today's workout. If you feel like you gave your glutes a good workout today, guess what I did too. So well done on you. And if you didn't have a band, that's perfectly fine. You want to add resistance, add the band. If you want to take the band off at any stage, you can. So well done girls, don't forget to have a stretch.